Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Car Q. Welcome to the Car Archives, the Car Q Archives. Uh, today, I thought I'd do a fun little reaction video where I watch some of my old tip videos, but not the one tip video, but an old series that I call 23 Tips in 23 Heroes in Two Minutes. The original one tip for every hero back in December of 2016. I ended up continuing this series. 24 tips, 24 heroes when Arista came out. Then I did it for 25, 26, and I stopped there and then actually pivoted to the full one tip for every hero. But this was a true like general tip versus every hero back in the day. And uh, I, just, I was curious to see how many of them apply today. So if I have 23 here and 24 here, what does the math check out to? 47 tips. Let's see if there's a passing grade of 24 out of 47 of these total tips still applying to today. You guys ready? Let's go. Hey, what's going on? My name is Car Q and today Oh my god! The Spanish subtitles. That was Rodri. God, I hate it. Like the way I used to make these videos, this is when I was a new content creator. This must have been my third video ever. 23 tips, 23 heroes, all in two minutes. Let's go. This is non-base boost, and I'm like, yeah, 23 tips, 23 heroes. <laughs> the Karki sexy voice, yeah. You can animation cancel Dragon Blade Slash with a swift strike. True, one. High noon shoots right to left, so you can move your screen to avoid a reflecting Genji. Use True. concussive blast into jump jet out of spawn to regroup with your team faster. Animation cancel Works. with melee while you reload to fill dead time. True. Tactical visor refills your ammo. True. Go invisible before you throw your translocator to get in really good flank positions. False. 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 Wait a minute. Well, I mean, invisible had a timer. Technically, now, if you want to get out of spawn, you can toss your translocator, go invis, and then teleport versus wasting time. Wasting go invisible before you're wasting precious time of your invisibility before throwing the translocator. So I actually say this was this is not true. So one, two, three, four. Four you throw your translocator to get in really good flank positions. Here's one of many flanks that Tracer is capable of. That's also that still works. And one of them out of these seven is not really applicable anymore. Obviously, I know these tips are simple. This was 2016. I hadn't made any content before. The game was also new. It's simple now because you're comparing it to what you know now. But this is like, everybody was a noob. These are newbie tips because everyone was noobs. Also, this is defense heroes, lol. You can rocket jump during your ulti by shooting below you, followed by a jump. True. That's very good too, still today. Scatter arrow at an enemy's feet or narrow <laughs> corridors because it's simple geometry. <laughs> okay, that one doesn't work anymore. Rip tire makes less noise when it's not spinning against the surface. It does make less noise when you're against the surface, true. Remember, you can change your wall orientation by pressing the wall button twice. Here's a couple good examples. So the thing is, I remember in the first like five months of Overwatch, nobody knew they could flip their May wall for some reason. So, I don't Bridger know. I threw it deep in enemy territory on defense, on assault, payload, and hybrid maps for free ulti charge and none for the enemy since the Sombra patch. I mean, I guess you could put a deep turret early on and get some alt charge. Eh, kinda. It was better back then because you would crank it up to level whatever, level uh, level two. I got like 10% alt charge in this clip. Jump again at the end of a vertical hook to go even higher. True. So how many how many are unapplicable right now? Two. You can Thanks. choose to melee instead of primary fire to cancel your booster jet. True. Jump at the end of a charge to carry momentum forward and regroup with your team quicker. True. Hook and turn right or left 90 degrees while strafing in the same direction to pull enemies closer. Jump True. again after leaping to carry momentum forward and regroup with your team quicker. True. You can rocket jump by using right click and jump almost simultaneously to get in a better position. Yep. Hog's hook also, yeah, the distance in which the enemies the arrived was different. The proper execution is shoot, bionade, shoot, melee on squishy targets. I mean, yes, but like you're probably not going to get the follow-up shot after because they're going to start strafing and teleport. That Sombra would have teleported out by then, but yeah. Sound barrier has multiple pulse waves, so as long as... Kind of true. Like, if you sleep, shoot, nade, shoot, melee. Did I say that? What did I say here? 
If you land a sleep dart, the proper execution is shoot, bionade, shoot, melee, yeah, that's and right. squishy targets. That's right. Sound barrier has multiple pulse waves, so as long as you're within the line of sight of a teammate even near the end of it, you can still give them the shield. Mercy mm -hmm. can automatically reload her gun with her staff out as long as she waits the normal reload time. Try not yeah. to bundle all your sentries in one easy to see no. area. Spread them out into hard to see places. And for the final heroes in Yada, you can still track discorded enemies without line of sight for 3 seconds, so use this to charge a right click. Anyways, thanks for watching, that was 23 tips for 23 heroes in 2 minutes. Okay, um, honestly, 20 of those 23 tips still work today. That was pretty good. That was a 3 minute video, it was 2 minutes during the tips without the intro and outro to be fair. Hey, what's going on? My name is Q, and this is gonna be 24 tips, one you could tell when I discovered how to use a bass boost on my voice. <laughs> I went from talking like this to hello. Uh, hey, voice what's going on? My name is Q, and this is going to be 24 tips, one for all 24 heroes, all in about two minutes. Let's go. Nice. Dragon Blade has a wider hitbox if you slash higher. You True. Actually true. Their hitbox if you slash. Unless they fixed it. Actually, wait. They might have changed this. I'll have to double check. They fixed this. They fixed this. Higher. You I can flashbang above Reinhardt's shield or Genji's deflect. Ideally, I'm you should a shoot in barrage vid. immediately after to cancel its animation and maximize your DPS. Yep, shoot Reapers before barrage. Form, uh, you can wait, sorry. flashbang above okay. after to cancel its animation and maximize your DPS. Reaper's Wraith form draws aggro from Torbjorn's turret. You can cancel the biotic yes. field animation with tactical visor. Yes. You can melee to cancel the reload animation without compromising its timing in order to squeeze in more damage at close range. Yeah. You can time your recall to dodge big abilities like Diva's explosion. Obviously. You can transform into sentry mode during a jump. If you want to use Dragon Strike and Graviton combo but the enemy is running a Zenyatta, you can ask your Ana to nano boost you to rip through the transcendence without relying on the anti-heal effect of the biotic grenade. No, that doesn't work anymore. So two of them have been fixed so far. You can double jump one on that thing. You put it down early and wait for its cooldown to jump. You could technically triple triple jump. Is this before? Um, you can double jump with. Your this is when you only had a single mine back in the day, but the same concept applies now that you have two. So I know. Put it down early and wait for its cooldown to jump again midair. A common May stalling technique is to wall yourself into the corner and wait until it disappears before ice blocking. This should buy your team about 10 seconds. The Not 10 seconds, probably about 9. Isn't May wall 5 if they don't break it? And I think cryo is only 4 seconds. Turret shoots in a But the same concept applies. I guess that's okay. 360 degree arc, meaning you can put Wait. The turret shoots in a 360 degree arc, meaning you can put it down in deep corners without worrying about it facing forward. The reason why I added this in the video back then, I remember, was because I used to think that you'd have to place your turret facing the enemy. So I was like, oh, if I throw the turret staring at the corner, uh, would it still shoot people? And then I thought, I mean, this is 20, this is early in the game's life cycle. So I thought this would be a nice tip for tour players because in case they didn't know. Um, although there is a time for the turret to turn around and pivot. So it still works, but yeah, it has to pivot. Yeah, you're right. About it facing forward. Venom Mine does a surprising amount of damage, 75 to oh, be does exact, it? so be sure to I mean, use the ability at your feet against flankers to have an easier time fighting them off. Press I mean, and I hold guess jump so. in direction to fly out of your mech when broken. Yes, fighting some people don't off. know this still. Press and hold jump in a direction to fly out of your mech when broken. The barrier cooldown begins when you fire the ability, so you can have another barrier up and ready shortly after it lands. Yep. Remember that you can earth shatter through the payload and enemies on elevated ground. Yep. You can throw people off the map by turning after hooking. Going yep. in and out of primal rage resets your leap cooldown. Yep. You can melee in between secondary fires to squeeze in more DPS as it doesn't interfere with its timing. You can yep. keep your movement speed with scoped hitscan shots by quick scoping, done by jumping, followed by zooming in and shooting immediately yep. after the zoom animation begins. I recommend turning on the backwards wall riding setting so you can keep your field of view on the battlefield while dancing yep. around. When running a Farah Mercy combo, remember that damage boost works on rocket impact, not when the shot is fired. Nope. It's reversed now. In which, um, damage boost only applies before they fire the shot. You have to be boosting the Farah or any projectile before they shoot. And when they shoot, then the amplifying thing is already applied to it as it comes out. 
but they switched this like three times in history so it can be very confusing to know which one's currently live but right now you need to damage boost before she fires but back then it was the opposite and it was actually kind of op because you'd only hold heal on the pharah permanently until you hear see her firing her rockets and as soon as you think it's about to make impact flick damage flick back it actually added a level of skill to mercy i kind of like the old way but you know it is what it is you can use your projected photon barrier to block big ultimates no, makes no that doesn't work steps so if that doesn't work anymore to block big ultimates Zenyatta makes no footsteps so if you know someone is around the corner charge your secondary fire and surprise them Nope, that also doesn't work. I don't know why I put that in there. Um, yes, Zenyatta makes no footsteps, but charging your secondary fire makes noise. It's like a rrr, they can totally hear you. So, uh, yeah, th that one's a no. Around the corner. So how many, how many still work today? Total of Twenty-four tips, one for each hero. All. So that's forty-seven tips. How many of in this video? I think three of them in the last video didn't apply anymore. And then in this one, it was, uh... Okay, so four in this video don't work anymore. Three in the previous one. So within these two videos, honestly, 20 plus uh, 21, 41 out of 47 of these tips still work today. Some of them really basic. Some of them, maybe you still learn something new. Maybe it is worth watching old videos. Don't need to update everything now, do we? Ah, well, that was pretty cool. Good trip down memory lane. In any case, quick reaction video. Thanks for watching. Peace.